have of this paper one of the most popular papers in child psychiatry lab. Wow, you guys are so curious about cognitive disengagement syndrome, which is amazing. And I wanted to share one really important thing that I didn't get a chance to touch on in the video. And that is that whenever we're looking at a new syndrome, we absolutely rule out other causes of those symptoms. And for something like cognitive disengagement syndrome, where you have brain fog, zoning out, daytime sleepiness, there actually could be a lot of other things causing those symptoms. There's medical conditions, thyroid disturbances, there's long COVID, there's just viruses like mono. There can be a ton of reasons that you might be having those symptoms. Also, there could be other psychiatric conditions causing those symptoms too. For example, when someone has a major depressive episode and they have a severe depression, it can absolutely cause some of those things too. So absolutely those things need to be ruled out before considering if you have cognitive disengagement syndrome. Now, this is a field that we're learning a lot about, so there's still a lot of unknowns, a lot of questions, but I felt it was really important to share because those of us within the field are very interested in learning more about this because we have people coming in describing these symptoms without other more plausible explanations.